Hi friends! I'm headed to Joshua Tree this weekend to meet up with my girlfriends. We go to Joshua Tree probably like once or twice a year. Um, Ella's birthday is next week, so this is kind of like an early birthday hangout situation. I'm super excited. It's Friday. It's like 8 o'clock. I washed my dog. I showered. I'm going to blow out my hair, probably put on a fake tan, um, finish packing up my toiletries. I actually cleaned my bathroom. My bathroom is clean. That's just what I'm packing. I definitely packed a lot in the suitcase, but the girls were like, bring more than you need. Um, because we didn't pack that much and we want to have cute things to wear and I was like, okay half the suitcase is like free people movement for when we go to the park so <laughs> But I got my nails done Yesterday or the day before I don't know if you guys can see them. It won't focus It's a French with these little like gemstones and I'm obsessed. It's a little early Valentine's Day nails But yeah, I'm just going to pack up get ready take you along for the weekend I'm on the road. I did my makeup. I'm wearing this outfit. I have to shoot for PacSun I have all my stuff. So I borrowed my dad's truck for the weekend. I love a truck. I can't even explain to you how much I love driving a truck. My mom's the same way. We're just truck girls. I have an electric car, so it just doesn't make sense for me to drive it because I would have to charge it, figure out where the charging station is, blah, 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 all the things. I'm in a great mood. I'm really excited. I'm jamming to Taylor Swift. I enjoyed getting ready and packing up this morning. It's a very good Friday. I have a little bit of work to do later. So I'm gonna do that when we get there. But yeah, I'm like still in a neighborhood I'm gonna go before I like actually start driving I'm in Joshua Tree I'm in a parking lot about to park gonna find the homies but I have to tell you guys a story also another reason I didn't drive my car besides it being electric oh they're the homies <laughs> dude <laughs> It was like a, yeah for the vlog. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know that's the good part. I'm a lucky bitch. A box. This is so cool. <laughs> box eggs. Oh, I didn't know what to get. I blacked out. You guys, this is gonna be my mom's car. This is gonna be my. Mom's Everyone car. keeping distance from oh, me because yeah, I, I got eggs. I don't know if I can smell that. I'll sit in the front. No, 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 it's fine. no I think Una's gonna like dry heat. No, 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 I won't. I got it. Oh my god, oh my god. I should have got these toasted. A baby chair moment? Um, what the heck? Um, what? It's so cute! Wait, these are so cute. I also like love the low beds. The Playboy skirt. Ooh! <laughs> Every time we come to Joshua Tree, um, whenever it's cold an hour, it gets caught in Katie's skies and we always take some pictures and they're always my favorite pictures every single year. And so these are them! Also, Ella's turning 27 next week. Big girl! So this is an early birthday celebration. She's a big girl. Seventh birthday. <laughs> 27 <laughs> minus 20. Um, what I was saying in the car earlier before I met the girls is that um, I got in a car accident this week and it was fine, I wasn't even in the car. It happened when I was getting my nails done. I came out and this girl had hit my car and she started crying, she felt so bad. I was like, oh my gosh, it's fine, it's fine. Like, I'm not attached to my car at all whatsoever. I'm also just one of those like, I'm not a very reactive person. I'm like, it's already happened. There's nothing we can do about it. So like, why make it a bigger deal than it is? And she started crying. I was like, can I give you a hug? And she was like, <laughs> and we were like sitting on the street. And I was like, dude, honestly, like you couldn't have hit a better car. Like, I don't care at all. Like. You have insurance, I have insurance, and she was like, and I was like, then it's fine. Like, we'll figure it out. But today, when I was driving here, the car behind me, like, stopped short. They didn't see that it was, like, traffic, and then I had stopped. And I was like, please don't hit me, please don't hit me, obviously, because I was driving my dad's car. And they stopped, they did not hit me, but four or five cars behind them hit them, and there was, like, a four or five car pileup. And I felt so bad for them. That's why I was, like, scoping out the car when we got here. But, yeah, it was really scary to see but we danced around at sunset as you saw and now we're getting dressed and we're going to dinner at beats me <laughs> we're going to Pappy and harriet's after for yes a concert though we got tickets for a country concert literally the only 30 dollars i will ever spend on country sorry couldn't agree more um but it's really cute it looks like yellowstone vibes so i'm excited Good morning. Oh no. <laughs> Good morning, Puffin. Good morning, Puffin. I just woke up and we're going on a hike. It's 7.30 and I'm the last one to wake up, of course. Where are you going? 
I don't know. Definitely FP movement. I brought 17 outfits. I just have to pick out which one. No, Una's wearing black because she's no, chic. Hey, Richard. Okay. <laughs> you guys, we completed our how many miles? Five miles? Five miles. Five mile hike. Yeah. Talia crab walked on a boulder. We were boulder climbing. It was unexpected, but probably my favorite part of the hike. It was really hard. And none of her rhinestones fell off. None of my rhinestones fell off my nails. And if you need a van, a, is this a camper van? It's a sprinter. A sprinter, yeah, it's a sprinter van? Camper van. If you ever need a camper sprinter van, this one is one, adorable. Um, and you can rent it on Outdoorsy. And I'll link the information in, in the description of this video. Hi. <laughs> I'm back in LA, as you can probably see. Um, I forgot to vlog today, but that's okay. We uh, got breakfast at Frontier Cafe, my favorite breakfast sandwich of all time, the egg sandwich, add bacon, I get gluten-free bread, but the brioche bun is top notch. I'm watching Euphoria, I had popcorn for dinner because I couldn't get myself to go to the grocery store. Um, haven't unpacked or anything, just had like a major potato day because my butt was kicked. Yesterday we went on the most incredible five mile hike. It was awesome. I need to figure out what the name of the hike was because I would absolutely do it again. There was like a little bit of boulder climbing, bouldering as I learned it was called. Um, yeah, it was amazing. I hope you can hear me, the fans on and the windows open. But yeah, it was an amazing weekend. It was so nice. I always get sad after I have good weekends and today I've been like so sad. And I was sitting here thinking about it and I was like, the 14 year old version of me would be obsessed with my life. I'm an influencer, I make great money, I have great relationships with my parents, I have amazing friends. It's gonna sound like I'm bragging, but what I'm trying to say is, even when you have all the things that you think will make you happy, you will still sometimes find yourself being sad, and that is all to say that happiness or contentment is totally, totally, totally an inside job. So don't romanticize like there, and what like when I get there what that will look like just like try and find some sort of like contentment in your everyday obviously I acknowledge that a lot of privilege even comes with me saying this if you're trying to put food down on the table for your family you're not going to be all that happy or content I totally understand that I'm just saying for those of you who may have had a similar path to me um, there was a point in time where I was in a lot of debt and confused about what I was meant to do and just like not in a great place and I thought that once I got to this place I'd be happy all the time and I'm happy a lot of the time and I'm incredibly lucky uh, but there are also days when I'm sad as fuck. so just throwing that out there I always get like super sad after a fun trip and this wasn't even a long one this was like two days in the desert but that's how it be. So try and find your bliss, it's in here. It's not out there. It might be out there temporarily for a bit, but it's in here. I don't know if that made sense, but it makes sense to me. And I just feel like it's important to share because I feel like my life can look pretty perfect a lot of the time based on what I decide to share. And I'm trying to do a better job about being honest that it's not perfect. Spoiler alert, no one's is. That I know for certain. So anyway, I'm watching Euphoria. I don't know if I'm gonna end the vlog here. I feel like I could like throw something else at the end of this. So we'll see. I'll see you soon. Hi friends. I posted a TikTok asking you guys what I should wear to this Revolve party I'm going to tonight because the Biebs is making an appearance. And I'm actually really bummed because tomorrow Drake is performing and I would much rather personally see Drake. I don't really listen to Justin Bieber's music anymore um but i don't know anyone that's going to drake and i don't want to go alone and you're not allowed to bring a plus one so i'm going to justin bieber because my friends are going but 
Hey girl. Hi. That was Allison. Um, she's coming up to meet me and I haven't seen her in forever. I decided I'm gonna wear the green. I'm like super into this. I love the color and I just think it's like cool and a little more unique than like all the bandage dresses that I have as options. So I'm just excited to have plans on a Friday, honestly. I feel like such a grandma at heart. Like all I want is like a farmhouse and to have dinner parties with my friends. And then on occasion, I'll be like going to a Justin Bieber party for Evolve. And so it's like part of me is still 20 and part of me wants to be like 35. So that's what's up with that. Um, I was gonna try and take pictures of this early while it's like still light out, but now I'm thinking maybe flash photos in the evening could be cool. TBD, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna keep working. I have so much to do. I've shot like three campaigns today. I just feel like a bunch of stuff picked up mid-February and I still have so much to do. So I'm gonna do that. I'll keep you updated. We're getting ready for Justin Bieber. This light is still so bad. You have, you, is this is your, a little better. It's like very, very it's very I warm. <laughs> Figure something out. Blend something out. <laughs> we have a lot of Revolve fits that we're deciding between. I think I've settled on my green jumpsuit. I don't know if you've picked out what you want to wear yet. I have not. I brought five options. Are you leaning towards the black? Yeah. Yeah, the black looks so good. Because I wouldn't wear this one anywhere else. It but looks I would wear all the other ones. So that one's like striking. Yeah. Thank you. I love that one. Reese's is already having separation anxiety. And um, I poured us some glasses of rosé because it's what I had in the fridge. It's very Galentine's day -y. It's oh, pink and red. So this is like a pretty bad Valentine's Day. I'd wear this cute, but I would also wear this in like Cabo. Yes. This I tried on looks like I'm in my pajamas because it's like it's, so it's also like cutie girl brunch vibes. And like a little too Valentine's. Like you could also wear that with like a t-shirt under it. Yes, that'd yeah. be cute. This was cute. Fancy also, dinner. Like, night. This I could literally wear anywhere. Yes. So this is what else am I gonna wear like a you black won't get a chance dress to do that? Other than when I'm trying to kiss Justin Bieber tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's the one. You guys, I'm dying. It's February 22nd. It's it's Tuesday, 2 22 22. Um, and that's how long it took me to edit this vlog because I have a video editor and I got back from Joshua Tree and I was like, I'll just do it myself. I'll just whip this one out. No, it never happens like that. I get so busy and this gets put on the back burner. Um, hopefully March will be better, but I'm at least happy to share something from this month with you. I just love YouTube because I feel like it's like more I want to be like, it's more raw and real. But like it is, it's more raw and real. Like when do you ever see me without makeup on Instagram? It's rare. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you got this far, I am working on getting better at doing this more regularly, slowly but surely. I I'm pretty excited about this one though. It doesn't get better than Joshua Tree and Justin Bieber. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.